area in Texas. Uh, I have a couple that I really like. This one is between Johnson City and Fredericksburg, and it's called uh, Gillespie County uh, Safety Rest Area. Um, ooh, whoops, a little bit too quick on that entry right there. Okay, so this is basically a safety rest area that you can stay in um, for uh, 24 hours for free. And this is my favorite place. So I'm just gonna park up here. Uh, there's like no like real parking spots. You just kind of pull into where like there's a picnic area. So I think I'm gonna pull up one more. Uh, or maybe I'll just stay on this one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I've stayed here a ton of times. Uh, it's about an hour uh, west of Austin. So it's really not very convenient if you're trying to look for a place in Austin to stay. But if you are heading west, uh, and you don't want to stay in Austin or you can't because they're cracking down on it, you can actually stay here. So I'm not going to stay this far up though. I'm going to go back to that first spot, which is usually my regular spot. And sometimes in the morning, I wake up and I have a little van life uh, neighbor. So tonight I have a um, big old 18 wheeler flatbed truck as my neighbor. So I'm going to go up here. There's a church behind, uh, which is, um, you know, I guess a safety third thing. I don't know. Uh, anyway, but really nice, very, very quiet little bit of road noise on the 290 um, but it's not really that busy so yeah so I'm gonna park up and I'll see you in the morning good morning from Gillespie County safety rest area my favorite probably one of my favorite maybe the favorite safety rest area in Texas and we have all of these all over the state and you can stay here uh, up to 24 hours for free um, so these ones don't actually have parking spaces. You just park next to one of these like little picnic areas. There's a park with a little bit of rusted uh, like swings and things. Um, you probably need a tetanus shot if you want to go play on those slides and uh, seesaws. Um, but anyway, other than that, other than your uh, updated vaccines, <laughs> um, there are restrooms and they're very clean. There's a little museum inside. Um, there's Wi-Fi, there's security. All of this stuff so there's also a church behind it so that gives me hope even though i'm not religious i'm like well it should be safe there's a little walking area a little bridge um, but yeah so i always park in this first spot if it's available um, but yeah you just basically park next to a picnic area and um it's right on the 290 a little bit of road noise uh, but not really too much and this is an hour or well, about 55 minutes west of um, austin between uh, austin and fredericksburg so I always stay here if I'm heading in this direction. I don't really want to stay in Austin. It's just too much hassle. Um, but this is a lot easier to stay here. There's gas stations and everything along the way. Fredericksburg is about 20 minutes down the road, but I'm heading back toward Blanco State Park to go do a quick hike there. And then I think I'm going to Lyndon B. Johnson State Park, which is actually like around the corner from here, but I'm gonna backtrack. And then going to Old Tunnel Natural Area and then to the, yeah, you get a little bit of road noise, which actually doesn't bother me whatsoever. And then I'm going to South Llano State Park and I'm gonna be camping there tonight. So um, quite a nice day, it's a Thursday, uh, nice not to be working. So it's good, it's back to a van life where no one's around <laughs> because I'm van lifing during the week, which is awesome. Uh, when you're a weekend warrior, it's a little bit more hectic because you have to battle all of the uh, other warrior weekenders um, but when you're just, you know, a bum like me, you're not working right now um, because, I, you know, I'm taking care of Jeff in San Diego and I'm actually on my way back to San Diego. So that's why I am uh, moseying on through Texas to check off a couple more state parks for my own self-care, which is super important. I still want to get through all 89 of those. Um, and then actually we have 90, but one's going away. So we're back to 89. So uh, I've been to the one that's going away. So um, yes, I'm going to uh, just kind of make my way to Texas, uh, through Texas rather, uh, to San Diego over the next couple days. And hopefully my stupid ankle is getting better. I've been putting lidocaine patches on and I think I should be able to do some hikes today. I think if I run, running, okay, yeah. I think I'm good for running 13 miles, <laughs> running a trail run. Actually, trail runs are easy. If I was just running on the concrete, I'd probably kill my ankle. Um, all right, so let's do this. Let's go meet the day. I've reached the Blanco State Park entrance. I don't think this is the official entrance. I think this is just the other end of the park. 
because the gate is locked, but there is a pathway, but there's nowhere to park. So I'm going to go back to the main road and go around the other way and hopefully I can get in. That's really cool. They got these little swimming holes. So the water in this part of Texas in the hill country is pretty much clear. Like if you're in Barton Springs or, um, you know, even in like San Marcos or San Antonio, generally it's um, natural river environment, which is absolutely true. It is, uh, yeah, it's really, really, really pretty. This is a cute little park. It's like right in the middle of a little town. And uh, this is the town of Blanco, I think, um, hence Blanco State Park. So yeah, so it's funny, it's just designated, uh, probably designated because of the natural water. And then at the end of here is the uh, is the trail. So I'm just going to park right here, try to get a little bit of sun. And yes, yeah, so I'm just going to do a quick hike up and then I think uh, that's it. I don't think I'm going to do the other hike because I've got a longer hike to do today. Okay, it's already stupid hot. It's like 75 degrees and it's like eight o'clock in the morning. I miss my cold weather. Oh look, there's my shadow. Oh look, you know, you, now you know that I'm not with a film crew. <laughs> It's funny, the solo travelers on YouTube, they're like, people ask me if I have a film crew. I'm like, I know you don't have a film crew. Like we have the technology to just film it ourselves. Anyway, I have Jeff's crutches, <laughs> which I almost forgot when I opened the door. I was like, thank God they're like secured. Anyway, so, okay, I'm gonna do a quick hike. Um, it is hot, so I have my hat on and um, flip flops, but I'm gonna walk in my hiking boots. I need to strengthen my ankle because I need to run this half marathon on Saturday. <laughs> so we'll see. Anyway, there's Prudence. Nice to get her out and about. Uh, nice to hit a few uh, state parks on the way back to San Diego. So yeah, okay, let's do this. They were very nice. They were asking if I was with the Friends of Blanco Park. I'm like, no, I have no friends. Um, they're gonna go feed the birds over there. So the birds will come back. Anyway, okay, so I'm here. I'm just gonna do this um, trail and then there's another nature trail. So yeah, I think I'm just going to hike up here. I think I'm on a different trail than I thought I was going to be on. Okay, that's fine. I'll just do this one, come back and then do the other trail. And then I think that's it. So maybe I'll just do both of them. It should be about three miles. I should get started. I'm just like procrastinating. Texas without telling me you're in Texas. <laughs> so we flood all the time and yes this is how high the water actually gets here. It is crazy. Some of the places in this part of uh, the state, especially during the last couple hurricanes, has basically washed away most of it. So yes all of this ends up underwater. Um, anyway over there is the swimming area. It says closed area. I don't know if you can swim. Uh, but yeah look how clear the water is. It is like super clear. It's all like natural spring, which is why I guess this is a state park. No wade fishing enclosed area. Okay, cool. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, this is only gonna be like, I don't know, not very long actually, maybe like a mile and a half, just up and back. funny I was coming here to get a cup of chai or something and the lady comes out and says oh they're filming a segment for Fox News and do I want to be on camera and I'm like no <laughs> I do not want to be on camera you know you're in Texas when they're like there's all pickup trucks and these are all the news crew yeah so I'm just gonna wait 10 minutes and maybe I can get something to drink I think this is the staff standing out here I don't know <laughs> this is cute it's a Oro Blanco Italian creamery so they have coffee and tea and stuff and maybe I can get something to eat before I go to my next hike, which is only a mile. <laughs> it's actually like literally around the corner, but yeah. Look at this cute little camper over here. Super cute. Very windy though. Very windy today. My next park is the Lyndon B. Johnson, 
um, state park and historic center. So there's only like a little nature walk, um, but I'm gonna go check it out. There's a visitor center, uh, bulletin board, exhibits. So it's probably like a museum. Some of these state parks are just kind of preserved for like museum reasons. I don't know, well, we'll see. I don't know, what is it about? We have our living history farm. It's uh, ran as it would have been in the early 1900s. The rangers and volunteers are all dressed in period clothing and they work the farm. Oh. They have a baby cow and a brand new baby sheep. Yes. So to get to the farm, you could drive by exiting the parking lot through the yellow and take a left and park directly from across from the farm. Okay. Or that ranger was very nice. So I'm gonna go look at the exhibit and then I'm gonna go walk to the historical village. I think that's the hike. And then I'm going to um, uh, go to the national park, which I didn't know we had a national park. I knew nothing about this place. So Lyndon B. Johnson was one of our presidents. He also invented insurance <laughs> for medical insurance which I'm a veteran, so I don't even have to use it. All my medical stuff is free. But anyway, pretty cool. Yep, my AP US history from high school is not useful right now. I remember nothing. This is the Living History Farm and all of the rangers are in traditional clothing, which is pretty cool. This is fun. I'm like fascinated by all of the like Wild West gold rush stuff because it's very, very American, very Little House on the Prairie, which is why I went to college in Indiana, which was nothing like Little House on the Prairie. There is a prairie right there with some cows and there's a ranger and a chuck wagon. <laughs> so it's really cute. This is so American. I love it. Fries, awesome. Mm -hmm. And you're repairing or creating? Uh, creating, putting a rope cording. <clears throat> well, that was fun. That was actually really cool. Um, so I'm going to walk back uh, about, I don't know, half a mile, and I'm going to drive the National Park part. It's not like an official National Park, it's just like a National Historic Site but they call it the National Park because we only have uh, two, two National Parks. We have uh, Carls no, um, Guadalupe Peak and Big Bend in Texas. So um, although I think Paladero should probably be National Park status, but I'm glad that we get to still claim it because it's one of my favorite places. But we will take everything we can get in Texas because then we say, come and take it. <laughs> so once we take it for ourselves, uh, we challenge you to come and take it back and we will win because it's frickin' Texas. Anyway, okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna go drive, and then I'm gonna head to the next place, which is an Old Tunnel State Park, and I think it's another mile hike. I can't do a tour today. There are no tours. So I'm just gonna go do the little walk, maybe get to the Bat Cave as far as I can get, and then uh, head down to Lano State Park. So yeah, it's not even noon, and I think I'm just gonna rest up, nurse my leg, and try to get maybe a massage, I don't know. We'll see, I know it's getting busy here. Okay, now I'm back in the van. I'm gonna take the little map she gave me and get lost, <laughs> so I don't know where I'm going. So I need to go on Ranch Road, sorry, Ranch Road. Hang on, let me get the blue sky there, there we go. Ranch Road, <laughs> that's my American accent, it's horrible. Uh, Ranch Road uh, one, I'm gonna take a left and a left and then go through um, the Junction School the LBJ birthplace, Johnson Family Cemetery, 
Sam E. Johnson Senior Home, the Texas White House, which is closed, um, the show barn, and some other things. Oh, and then the uh, Air Force <laughs> Museum. And then, yeah, then I'm done. Then I'm heading on to Old Tunnel. So this was fun. But no idea. I've driven past this probably about 500 times. And I've never stopped. I had no idea all this was here. Well, now you know. Don't be me and don't just drive through and not go places. <laughs> Actually, I go lots of places. That's what I do for a living. That's my job. Um, okay, cool. Yeah. All right, let's go. No way. This is the rest area that I stay at. Holy crap, this whole time, all of the like 50 times that I've stayed at this rest area, and the whole time the LBJ Ranch was right behind it. Well, who knew? <laughs> yeah, I had no idea. I, I just thought it was like, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Learn something new every day. Follow me for more travel nonsense. <laughs> on this driving tour you can uh, well you can't actually go in <laughs> you can just drive by and look and there's an audio tour that you can also do I don't know if it's on your phone or if they give you a little headset probably on your phone uh, I know nothing about it but this is very pretty look at this speed limits like 20 miles an hour going very very slow and responsible and yeah, then there's like the, uh, the other buildings. So you can get out and look around some of them, but this is actually a working farm. So we're literally like driving through like somebody's workplace right now. <laughs> it's like, don't mind me, I'm just coming through for the tour. Holy shit, that's Air Force One. I would never own one of those. <laughs> I can go inside, can I go in? Hang on, let me close this window here. Can I go on Air Force One? I've never been on Air Force One. Of course, why would I go on Air Force One? That doesn't even, that's not even a thing in my life. <laughs> All right, let's check this out. Again, as I said earlier, it's really nice to be a jobless bum for a few months because I get to come here on a Thursday and beat the crowds. Look at that, it's an airplane. And there's a van. Okay, and it's windy. Okay, you can't actually go in. <laughs> I was like, I want to sit down and whatever. I want to just like drain the taxpayers of their money. But no, look at that. I have trouble just putting on my air conditioning in my van. I would never be able to fly a plane. That is phenomenal. And it smells. <laughs> it smells like the 1950s. Okay, and there's pool noodles. All right, that's Air Force One. Thank you. I've just got to do the wave now when I come down the uh, stairs. Thank you, thank you everybody, thank you, thank you, right? Okay, um, raising taxes and uh, increasing the jobless rate. <laughs> that would be me if I was president, wouldn't know what I'm doing. Tunnel State Park and this is cute um, so there's not much hiking here <laughs> as is the theme of the day because my stupid ankle is hurting um, but yeah so I'm right here and I think I can just hike oh the hiking's right here okay so I don't need to go like into the park any further uh, but yeah I think I'm just gonna park here in this parking lot with my questionable parking job and then just do the hike right here um, so that's pretty cool. Reservations required to stay after 5 p.m. I don't need that. Okay, so um, yeah, I already did a res reservation. So this is only like not even a mile. I don't even know. Hike the one and a half mile nature trail that follows the historic rail bed and includes a view of the tunnel. The trail is open 365 days a year. Okay. All right, so this is cool. No pets, no alcohol. So if your dog is like drunk, you can't bring your dog. <laughs> so anyway, okay. 
I don't know what this is. <laughs> I literally pl uh, planned this trip like last minute because um, I just wanted to break up the drive to Seminole Canyon and work on getting my ankle better. Um, but yeah, this is beautiful. Look at that. Who knew? Who knew the Texas Hill Country was so pretty? And it's like 89 degrees right now, people. The whole of California is like snowing. And oh, there's a little observation place over there. Can't even see it. The sun's in the wrong place this whole day. Anyway, and there are bathrooms. So yeah, like the whole of California where I'm headed in a couple days is basically gonna freeze this weekend. So I'm hoping I'm able to get there, you know, through the 10 freeway without having to go through like mountain passes. I may end up getting stuck on Sunday. So, and then I'm only there for like four days and I have to fly back that Friday night. So I'm hoping I don't have to drive Monday. I'm hoping I can get there Sunday night, but we'll see. We'll see. I've driven in worse. I've been stuck on the freaking 70, I-70 in Colorado in the snow. Okay, enough babbling. I'm going to do this hike. Beautiful, beautiful. is literally like a mile but it's kind of cool I mean it's all dead around me <laughs> so you know uh, very apocalyptic if you're escaping the bats so the reason we have so many bats is because we have so many mosquitoes and the bats eat the mosquitoes so mosquitoes are good for the bats um, but anyway yeah so just doing this quick hike uh, back on my hiking boots again and uh, feet feel good ankle is still a little tight um, so I've tried salon pass I've tried um, like heating pads. I haven't tried the Bengay, um, so I'm gonna try that. I never use any of this stuff, so this is all new for me. Um, and then I'm gonna go see if I can find a masseuse tomorrow in Del Rio, uh, see if I can get like an hour long sports massage. Um, I don't really trust anyone other than my um, chiropractor, but let me see if I can do that. Uh, it's very hot right now. <laughs> Why is it so hot? Anyway, okay, now the uphill part, which you can, kind of see there. So yeah, okay. On and up and onward. <laughs> oh yeah, th now I can feel it stretching. I just need to like get the tightness out. I don't think I'm injured. Ow, shit. <laughs> I don't think I'm injured. I just need to loosen up that calf because I haven't stretched. I did all that running every morning in San Diego, never stretched and then sat in the hospital. So wasn't really moving a lot and I can feel it now. Okay, up the hill, big ass hill. <laughs> today and my home for tonight. Um, I will be at South Lano State Park and the flood gauges are always cracking me up. Yeah, this is all underwater eventually. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to get my permit. Um, I don't know, I think I have 5G. I have a call with Harriet tonight, so I might have to go back into town for that. But it looks like, um, yeah, it looks like I'm the only one here. <laughs> That's great. Awesome exactly what I want. So this park headquarters, they're building a new one. There's a ton of construction. Oh no, there's someone leaving. Bye-bye motorhome. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm just going to go in and get my permit and go for a very, very quick six mile hike. It looks like there's no shade. Very pretty though. Really, really beautiful part of uh, Texas, but yeah, no shade and uh, yeah, basically hopefully be done by six and then do my call at seven on Zoom as usual and then rest up for the night. My calf is feeling a lot better, but I'm gonna find a um, masseuse tomorrow in Del Rio and do that in the morning after I go to the other place that I'm supposed to go to the devil something something, which I may or may not do. It seems kind of remote and you can't really do much there. So who knows? Okay, bye. They were very nice in there. I got three trash bags. <laughs> which I probably won't use. I just use them as a souvenir. I feel like I connect with these people here. <laughs> My neighbors have all their socks drying in the windshield. That would be me. 
that would be me. Hopefully there's no river crossings. Anyway, I'm right here, I'm backing up into my space and I'm right by the bathrooms, which is good. And I don't think I have anyone really too close next to me. It doesn't look like anyone's doing fires. It's probably a fire ban, hopefully. Okay, this is my site for the night. I've got this little shaded area, which is really nice. I could do yoga if I did yoga, which I used to. I don't do yoga outside. <laughs> I do yoga like in classes. A uh, little picnic area that's shaded. Shade is always good here in Texas. A little fire pit way in the back, which is nice. Looks like everyone's fire pits are in the back. No one's really starting a fire because it's like 90 degrees right now. Another van lifer with a factory built, factory built Winnebago and my amateur hour. <laughs> so I've plugged in, which is great. So I've got the 20 amp plug, which is the best thing I ever did. When I got the um, Max fan installed, I had them also put this little adapter in. So basically I can just plug in and plug in right there. And then I have a, uh, an extension cord that goes under my bed, which I can plug everything into. So there she is, there's the back of my van and there's the side of my van. All right, I'll put my hiking boots on. Kind of be a little organized in here. My socks are everywhere because I'm not putting them on my windshield like my neighbors are. Anyway, so yeah, so let me get some snacks and I'm going to basically do, um, can't do the uh, hiking up here, which doesn't even show up on all trails because they close it during the day from 11 to 3 for the turkeys. And it's only like 3 o'clock right now. Um, but um, the backcountry area. So I'm going to do, do, I'm going to hike the Agarita Trail to the Mid Canyon Trail and then do the double loop, hike the double loop. I hate the word do, hike the double loop and then come back up and go back up. So that's six miles, six and a half miles. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna definitely come back to this park and probably do some uh, um, mountain biking. There's, a, there's probably, I don't know, over 10 miles of trails with mountain biking. So I'm not gonna do that today because I don't have enough time and um, still need to monitor my, my ankle. So yeah, okay. All right, I'm going to um, put the fans on and get ready. Okay, this is bad. I've literally only gone like from where I was parked to the headquarters, not even a quarter mile. And my whole shin is like ripping and on fire. I don't think I can do the race tomorrow. It's okay. That's fine. I'll just head to uh, California early. But oh my God, it like literally is killing me right now. Ow, why is it hurting? What is wrong with my freaking shin i can't even walk like literally i'm trying to walk right now and i can't even walk on it oh my god yeah i'm gonna have to try to get my money back so we'll see if ultra expeditions will give me a refund no worries i had no idea i'd actually get injured this is actually feeling worse than breaking my foot i don't know if i want to do a six mile hike right now oh my god okay um let me figure this out. <laughs> Fingers crossed I can get my $100 back. But at least I'm on the way to uh, San Diego. So, oh my God. Yeah, I'm literally right now limping. <laughs> oh my God, it hurts so much. Why does it hurt? But I'm, in Del I'm near Del Rio. I don't think there's a VA hospital. Oh my God, this actually really hurts. Maybe it's because I'm wearing, no, it shouldn't hurt. Like I've hiked hundreds of miles. I should not literally be limping. There's no way. If I try running, actually running is easier. <laughs> but I don't think I can do 13 miles. Ooh, ow. <laughs> okay, now it's like tingling all the way up my legs. Something is not right with my calf. I've never had this before and I can't actually walk, so. I'm gonna go back <laughs> to my van. I've been trying to put Bengay on it. I've been trying to do everything today to try to alleviate it. But I think I just need to get a, like a sports massage. Maybe I can, it's so windy. Maybe I could find a place down the road. I don't wanna have to like undo my van. This is disappointing. Yeah, it's like, I can't even, it's, it has to be my Achilles heel, but it's feeling like it's going all the way up my calf. So yeah, I can't even walk. <laughs> this never happened before. I mean, I have a jacked up spine. I shattered my pelvis in the army. I've had sciatica. I've had all this stuff and I've still been able to be active. And this time around, but probably because I did four hikes or three hikes today and I can't even walk from the, uh, to, from the van. But this is too dangerous. There's no way 
I'm not even going very fast that I would even be able to do this six mile hike. I don't want to get stuck out there because I don't have, um, I didn't bring a flashlight. I have one, I have like the world's worst flashlight in my bag, but okay, well, let's go to the trailhead at least. Yeah, it's like, it's not, it's not alleviating. It's not, oh my God. <laughs> well, I'm actually not too bothered about running this half marathon. I'll do it next year. I only thought it'd be fun to, I did one last year, which is the first and only one I've done. But this time, this time I'm like, okay, yeah, this isn't gonna work. I'm gonna go back and figure out what to do. I might have to leave and go find a, go find a VA or something in the area, which there are none in Lano, which I think is where I'm at. Okay, no worries, I should rest up. Maybe, maybe I'll feel better tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. I've still got a whole nother day, a day and a half before I have to hike. Oh well, not really a fail because I didn't even try. <laughs> so yeah, I want to go back. My, I cannot even, I can't even, my whole leg is stiff. Maybe I broke something. What would I do? I just ran in the morning, but then I sat on airplanes and I drove like 22 hours. I don't know. I can't think of like where I might've like accidentally, you know, sprained my ankle or something. I don't know, maybe just overuse, who knows? <laughs> okay, back to the van and go relax. It is too hot right now to sit in the van, unfortunately. Maybe I can open the door. That would be nice, <laughs> get some fresh air in. All right, well, sorry about that. <laughs> Well, who knows? Maybe I'm not going to do the, the thing tomorrow or Saturday. Yeah, I can't even, I can't bear weight on it. Of course, you know, nothing to complain about because Jeff had his leg amputated. So, um, but, oh my God. Yeah, I'm not going to injure myself because I need to take care of it. So I'm going to, and I still need to drive another 10 hours <laughs> from here to, uh, actually, is it 10 hours? No, it's like 16 hours from here to, uh, San Diego so okay all right I will uh, head on my way <laughs> limping oh my god maybe I just want to like like click it it feels like it just needs to like click back into place or something what is wrong with my hat <laughs> oh well all right well thank you for the you know enjoying this very non-captivating content and the lady was so nice but there's the darkest guy party tonight in the parking lot which I, don't, I can't even walk to all right I'm gonna walk back my leg is killing me I have neighbors moving in. So glad I don't have one of those gigantic, whatever they are. That is just ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Actually, that's not much bigger than my van. I wish I was in the first one here. It's all good. Oh my God. My foot is killing me right now. My ankle. I hope these people don't have a fire. <laughs> I'm like, just go away. Leave me alone, I'm in pain. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It takes like 30 minutes to back this thing into the space. And it's one way, so you can't just like go the other way. And they got it in, pretty good. Yep. Yeah, hopefully they're not jerks. <laughs> I've actually had pretty good people next to me in all the campsites I've been. Only one time uh, when I did the like, women who hike Houston or something, we had a meet up in Lake Livingston. And the girls next to me were just like loud and obnoxious, like blasting music. And I was like, you know, that's not really like camping code. And then on the little sign up sheet, they're like, first time camping, never done this before. I'm like, clearly. Oh, they're not my neighbors. They're two, two doors now. Okay, cool. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I've decided executive decision. I'm going to the hospital tonight and get my foot checked out. I and mean, it's only eight o'clock. So I finished my call with Harriet. I'm in town because I needed the Wi-Fi. And I'm just gonna come here anyway, see maybe if they can just check it out and then I can go back to the campsite and sleep in a little bit tomorrow and then just drive straight on through to, um, straight on through to uh, California, which is snowing right now. <laughs> so this is a horrible road and I'm just gonna go park. And again, I'm going to a civilian hospital that has been approved by the VA, so they'll pay for everything. Uh, but yeah, let me figure out what to do, emergency, okay. Okay, so I think I tore my Achilles, which is not fun. So they just gave me a shot in the butt. And uh, yeah, seeing if I can get some crutches and uh, get on my way. So, sucks to be me. It's okay. Yep, 
my poor little ankle. Anyway, I'm very tired. I just want to go to bed. So, I'm being quiet because I'm the only person in the hospital right now. It's such a small town. There's no one here. Okay, at least they build the VA, so I don't have to pay for anything. Good morning from Casa Failure. <laughs> so I am uh, not running my half marathon on Saturday. It is actually Friday morning. It's about eight o'clock and I am driving to, oh, it's Buffy Road. I am driving to, um, uh, California and I gained two hours so I've got a 12 hour and 24 mile 12 hour and 12 hours and 24 minute drive to California and I gained two hours so I figured out how to get around all the snow because apparently it's snowing in San Diego for some odd reason um, I also figured out how to fix my stupid phone holder so I don't have to like keep it hold like it's it's on a holder just to let you know somebody likes it oh you know you can't hold your phone I'm not holding my phone my phone's on a holder right there um, but I had to like hold, like keep it in place with my arm while I'm driving because it's like bouncing around. But I figured it out. So there you go. The more you know, it's still a little choppy as you can see because I'm on a bumpy road. Anyway, enough about that. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna drive and yeah, just head to California. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, it should be fine. Actually, I think I need to stabilize this more. I'll fix this when I get to the gas station. Um, anyway, but yeah, South Lano State Park, really, really pretty. Didn't get a chance to really see it, unfortunately. Um, but I will be back because it's right off the 10. So when I come back through this way, I'm just going to pop down three miles off the 10 freeway in Junction and go hiking and exploring. So that's my goal. That is the goal of my life. <laughs> so as long as I don't fail again. Uh, it's good, actually. Uh, the stupid, like, Ultra Expeditions is not refunding my money. So no longer ever going to do Ultra Expeditions again. I mean, they literally are like, we're not going to refund your money. Um, and they sent me prayers. I was like, thank you. Your thoughts and prayers do zero in this situation right now. I would like my $100 back, you know, for an extraneous circumstance. They go, well, you should have bought insurance. How was I supposed to know any of this was going to happen? How was I supposed to know my foot would go out and Jeff would end up in the hospital? So that said, I will never ever participate in their events again. I'm happy that I got first place in my division last year for my age group. Other than that, I am no longer going to patronize those people. Um, so yeah, and you know, a lot of these running, there's a, there was a documentary about this Australian woman that was um, severely burned all over her body because she was doing an ultra marathon in Australia and the race, organization, or race organizers failed to um, notify the runners that there was a wildfire and they still continued to make everybody run the race. Like, I mean, you could choose not to run, but like, you know, everyone's running because they're like ultra marathoners, right? That's what they do. And uh, the complete neglect from the race organization to continue putting the race on when they clearly were putting everybody in danger. And even the, the, the ushers were like sending people down the wrong way. And this woman got caught in the middle of a wildfire and it was really horrific. And the organizer, when they, like the news crew tried to interview the organizer, she was just like completely, I mean, they make like millions of dollars doing this every year and just don't care about the runners. So I'm now putting ultra expeditions in that category of uh, basically, you know, expecting, they actually expected me to run the race. They said, well, you can still run the race. I'm like, dude, I have literally, like a ripped Achilles tendon. Like I am not going to be running this race tomorrow. Just give me my hundred dollars back or give me a credit for next year. They could have done that and I could run next year, but no, no, they decided that they were like, no, we're going to take your money and we don't care whether your health is in jeopardy or your partner's health is in jeopardy. Nobody cares. So anyway, all right. Okay. So I am now heading out of uh, junction and I will be somewhere, hopefully in Arizona in a couple hours. Ooh, is that coffee? No. All these little like coffee stands are really cool, but they don't have chai because I'm bougie like that. So, okay, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> okay, bye. Hello, New Mexico again. Sorry, can't stay, passing through. And here we are, what is it? Uh, Texas, 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 New Mexico. And that person is gonna let me go over, there we go. New Mexico, hello. Good afternoon, it is what time it is? Uh, 2.30. Um, New Mexico time. I'm in New Mexico. 
worried about um, the mountain pass, so I can get around it by going through like Campo and some other places um, right on the border of Mexico. I don't know that road. I've never taken it, but if it's, you know, not snowing or raining, that's good. I mean, the rain I can handle, like I said, but anyway. Okay, so moseying on through. I've already been driving for eight hours, wide awake, got like a bunch of beverages and yeah, actually pretty easy drive, but much easier going this way than going the other way because I'm very well rested. <laughs> um, whereas when I leave uh, San Diego, I'm usually leaving after a whole day in the hospital and then just trying to get out of town. So nice to have uh, a good night's sleep and the weather is great. Blue sky, sunny, dry, <laughs> no rain. So I'll take all of that until I get to California where it's the apocalypse. Um, but anyway, okay. So yeah, pretty easy, easy Friday drive. Uh, no worries, no complaints. So okay, see you later. Okay, we have inspection station time and we're in Las Cruces. It is bright right now. Um, anyway, the trucks go that way and everyone else goes the other way. So 35 miles an hour. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Oh my God, I'm like blinded. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, anyway, so um, all cars must exit. Okay, why is it pointing that way? All vehicles stop ahead. Alright, cool. Yeah, so this is like where they just basically say, Are you American? <laughs> yeah, I'm American. Sure, today I'm American. I'm American every day. But anyway, even though I have this bizarre accent that won't go away after 32 years. Yeah, this is my 32nd year living in America and my accent does not go away. I think when you hit like like age like 12 or 13, if you have an accent, it's very difficult to get rid of. That's my theory, <laughs> at least with me. So anyway, okay, let's see what's going on here. So they're taking a bunch of pictures. It's a very beautiful day today. Go, green light. No one's here. Nobody at the checkpoint. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that was the border. <laughs> Actually, it's not the border. It's just the border checkpoint on the American side. But Mexico is right there. <laughs> so. Actually, Mexico is pretty far. We're actually heading north now. Or I'm heading north. You're heading north with me. Um, okay. All right. Continuing on another 375 miles. And then I think I'm going to add two extra hours onto it and go straight to Yuma. I don't think I want to stop in Gila Bend. I think I'm just going to keep going. Uh, and get through and it is very very bright put on my sunglasses okay see you later i don't know if you can see this there's a rainbow in the sky look at that it's like a horizontal rainbow that's trippy i am at love's about two hours from yuma to get gas and probably shower as well and what is in that thing that thing is massive look at the size of that it says toy hauler no idea what's in there Looks like a house. Who drives that thing? That is nuts. Okay, I'm leaving Loves in Hercavino, Arizona. <laughs> um, I'm about two and a half hours from Yuma to the other Loves. They had 10 people in front of me if I were to have a shower here. Um, but I figured I'll push on through two and a half hours and then try to get a shower at the other Loves where I'm gonna park up for the night. And yeah, so basically there are a thousand million trucks here. <laughs> this is this is the 10 freeway in Arizona and there's a box truck towing a car. There has to be a house inside that. I'm like, that's a house, that's a house. <laughs> that is a house, is he gonna let me go? Seriously? <laughs> like, what's the part of like, don't block the intersection people? I may not be originally from this country, but I learned how to drive here. <laughs> Clearly, most people didn't. Anyway, okay, so the 10 West. Oh, I'm getting on the 8. That's what it is. I need to take the 8 West. So, yeah, so this is the 8 West with the big old sign that says San Diego. <laughs> so, I drove literally 14 hours already today, and I'm wide awake. I'm on adrenaline. When I drive, there's loves behind me. When I drive to uh, back from San Diego to Texas, I'm basically just like sluggish and groggy and sad and you know like I don't want to go and so it's a lot harder I've noticed to drive back uh, the same when I drove back from Tennessee it's just sad um, but when I'm like heading to San Diego now I'm like yeah adrenaline fuck yeah I'm like USA <laughs> so that said um, I am driving now so 
Yay. Anyway. All right. Let's, uh, I got my, my cappuccino. I got my wallet. I got my bag. And, uh, yeah. So going over the freeway right now and getting on the 8. I think I'm on the 8. No, I'm on the 10. Getting on the 8 now. Two hours, 27 minutes to Yuma. And not 310 to Yuma. <laughs> That's a movie. And then, uh, yeah. Then I will figure out tomorrow morning. I'll get up at 4 a.m. If I can get a shower tonight, I can leave Yuma at like 4.35 a.m. And then figure out how the hell to get to San Diego when there's supposed to be a snowstorm. So I'm not going to go through the mountain pass. I'm actually going to go through the road that goes right along Mexico. Uh, through like Campo and some other places. Jellum? Jellum? I don't know. I just I found a bunch of places, connect them together so Google knows and send me there. And uh, yeah, we'll see. So hopefully it's not going to flood or rain and it's really dark. Why is it really dark? Hello people. <laughs> oh, because I'm getting on the freeway. Um, okay, so yeah, San Diego. Make sure I don't miss the exit. I did this last time. I missed the exit. West San Diego, Phoenix bypass route or route, wherever you're from. And my face will come back into focus. No, it won't. <laughs> yes, it will. No, it won't. Okay, all right. So I'm literally disappeared right now. So I will um, chat with you later and let you know if I get my shower tonight. If not, I can just try to get one super early tomorrow morning. And then, uh, or just go to the Planet Fitness at five, but I'd rather leave you know, Yuma at five. I don't want to leave at six because I want to get to San Diego by 10. And it's about a three and a half hour drive. Okay, bye, bye. Okay, I'm in Yuma, Arizona. I'm very, very tired. And I'm gonna have a shower at Love's. So I'm waiting right now. There's about five people in front of me. So I probably have like a 30 minute wait. Uh, parked up for the night, so I know where I'll sleep tonight and then tomorrow about three hours San Diego very very tired It's about I don't know almost 11 p.m. And I figured I'll do a shower now and then that way I can just get up early I gain an hour when I cross into California, <laughs> which is literally like across the street So that's good, but I'll get up at 4 and then leave here at 5 and then try to get into San Diego early So very very tired <laughs> unfortunately I'm not even hungry. There's like all these restaurants, like, well, some chicken place, Subway, and pizza place. The three things I really don't eat. <laughs> so I'm just tired. My contacts are like complex, so I'd like to take those out. <laughs> okay. I will uh, see you in the morning. I don't know when I'm ending this video one day. Maybe. I don't know. Good morning from the Four Points by Sheraton. No, 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 I did not stay in a hotel. I stayed in my van, <laughs> which you can't see because it's like 5.30 in the morning, which is 4.30 California. So I'm up and I'm getting on the road. I moved from the Loves, which I can sleep through, as I've said, I can sleep through somebody snorting jello on a freight train in a wind tunnel. But the reverb, I guess it is, I don't know, from the, the truck engines, like the actual like motion, the, the vibration of it, like the, um, the like the, the actual shaking that my van happens when, I can't even speak this morning. The feeling that happens when I'm parked next to an engine that's revving all night, like not the noise, but just the, the constant like like vibration of my van. I was like, I cannot sleep in this. So I parked over here in the Sheraton parking lot and nobody bothered me and this was great. And so, yeah, so uh, this was perfect. So I'm just probably gonna sleep here again when I come to Yuma. Um, there's a whole bunch of these like hotels on this road on the other side of the freeway. So, okay, on the road, I think that's it for um, for this video, unless I hit a apocalyptic rainstorm and then I'll videotape that but other than that I'm just gonna head into San Diego and this was a fun trip and sorry that I'm injured but oh well <laughs> you know I think together Jeff and I make maybe three-eighths of a person <laughs> so at this point we just prop each other up okay it's all good teamwork makes the dream work so I am now hang on one sec okay here's a very dark and foreboding me so okay so i'm going now and i will see you on the next video whatever that is okay take care bye take me out to california take me out to california i feel the day from 
disheveled Jen. <laughs> I mean, my new blog is just me getting up in the morning and looking like shit. <laughs> um, okay, so I am now driving through Boulevard, Campo, some other places, the back way. It is absolutely beautiful. This is a really, really fun, gorgeous drive. It reminds me of like driving through up to Durango in uh, Colorado. I'm driving through uh, Colorado um, from like uh, Mesa Verde up to Durango and Telluride. Really, really pretty. It's gorgeous. Much prettier than, apart from the clouds, much prettier than taking the 8 freeway from Yuma straight to San Diego. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I just woke up. <laughs> it's uh, 6, uh, 6.46 in the morning and I'm about an hour, well maybe like 40 minutes from San Diego. Really, really pretty drive. I'm definitely going to do this drive again. This is gorgeous. And no snow. I only had like a smidgen of snow that was on somebody's front lawn and nothing else. So I need to use the restroom to pull out right here. And all these flooded signs. Nothing's flooded. I'm going to pull right here. 